Hi everybody, this is Gold Green PM again. I'm uh, working on a new project today. I'm heading down to the campsite. I gotta do some more stuff down there. But I did get my pump working. I went and got a, a much better, it's actually a fully submersible pump, but I'm still running it off the same way. So I just tie it to the bottom of the pail, or the bucket, or whatever you wanna call it, the barrel. And then over to here, into the bottom inlet, on the pump and out from here. As of right now I need to run it up here because if not just gravity will push it out so and I'm just filling it. Well, right now I'm actually starting to build a little panel for my LCD controller and uh, I bought a socket with three uh, 12 volt cigarette adapter and USB that I'm going to mount in here at the same time. I just like the lines to, or the, the wires and everything to look nice, so I'm going to mount it, my LCD controller, and then all the wires running in behind and then down into where it all ties into the trailer. So that's going to be the back of it. Uh, I'm cutting the front, and then I'm going to build it out, I think, maybe two inches deep. It doesn't need to be very deep. And, uh, and go from there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue cutting here. Okay, so I got the back cut, or the front cut, and if you can tell, I don't know if you can see on there, but there's an inch overhang on this side, and an inch overhang on this side, and this is so I can attach it to the wall, with 16 inch centers in the trailer. So, this is actually 15 by 15 is this outside one, this one's 15 by 17, the back one. So then, now I need to cut the pieces to make the space in between and uh, and go from there. This is all just uh, scrap stuff I've got from jobs over the years. This is MDF. It's, uh, it's easy to work with which is nice. And it's sandable and paintable very easily so I'm uh, just going to cut the sides now. Okay, so now I've got the side pieces cut. I need to get them on there. First I'm going to glue them. There's two. One should be shorter. This one. This one. Now, I'm going to use actually a hot glue gun to attach these and then use a brad nailer to secure them even stronger. So, I aim that side out. Take my glue, normally I would just use wood glue, but of course I'm out at the time, or at the moment. Okay, there's one side. Now, that's going to be the top. Not the easiest to do with a camera in your hand, but let's do my best here. Let's see if I can set this down. There. You can see there. Hopefully you can see. Oh, that's just not those. Ah, sorry. One side, and the other. So I want that side out. More glue on this. On this side. So this is this side here is going to be the bottom, this end here, and then this top piece now I'm going to put in here, 
this should fit in here nice and snug. Oh, I've got a bit of stuff that I've never cut off the end. Should use a pocket knife to the stuff like cardboard. So let me set this down for a second. Okay. So you can tell it's just it just didn't cut exactly smooth. That's a knife I normally always carry with me. I had another one and it broke. But I got this good, this is actually out of my fishing kit. But it's a good quality knife and I'm really impressed on how well it works actually. Okay, so now we get this in here. Perfect, now it fits in there just perfect. A good layer of glue. Hot glue works great for a lot of things, actually. You know, normally, yeah, you would use wood glue on wood, but hot glue works just as good. Okay. Set that up over here. Get you these. I hope this is catching. Maybe you guys can see this. Oh well. Let's look in here. the ends of it. So now I have essentially a half a box. I'm not going to fill in the bottom at the moment. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that, but for now. Alright, so now we have that part. Now I'm going to glue that onto that board. But first I've got to cut out Okay, this is uh, the plug I got. Got it for fourteen dollars at uh, Walmart. So this is actually going to get mounted. I'm going to cut a hole right in the front and have it so that it just sits flush with the front of the cabinet. So I'll be able to use all those plugs on there and in the USB charger. And uh, I'm just going to cut this off. Well, probably about here, so I can salvage this cut it off about here. It's going to run up inside the box and go into the load side of the controller. This way I will have all these plugs, which I have fans and other stuff that run on that and always charging the cell phone so the USB will come in handy. So I'm going to uh, get this marked out on the actual box now. and. Uh, Alright, now I got that in there, just mounted right in through the board, and then my charge controller's actually going to go right here. And I'm going to put all my holes underneath, and then run my line through. And then everything will come out this bottom here, and I've got a chunk of this old pipe. It's going to come in right at the bottom here, like so, down all the way to the ground underneath my bed where all my wiring is in the trailer. It just keeps it from having all the wires just spilling out on the bottom, making a big mess. So there's that. Now I've got to, uh, I'm not going to attach it yet because I want to uh, give everything a paint job first because it's going to be in the trailer. And Okay, well, there it's first coat of paint on it. Just needs to uh, dry up here a bit, and then I can fit my uh, piece in there. 
And I haven't put the back on yet. But just painted the outside edges because this won't be seen anyways. It'll be inside the box. And uh, that should do the trick. I'm going to uh, put the final coat on this. And then I am heading down to the campsite to uh, to hook some of this stuff up and my barrel is now full so I'm gonna go down and do all that I will uh, post another video of the stuff that's done at the campsite after I'm down there today and then I'll post another one on Friday when I go down and get my charge controller and everything hooked up and my solar panels and all of that. So this is uh, Go Green PM signing off and uh, thanks for checking out my videos and subscribing and please comment. Thank you.